Welcome back Exploders. Today I'm covering the topic of running two guns at the same time. You guys have asked for it. I've been doing it for the last few games and I'll go over the details of how I do it and how I do it without tangling myself and how it acts as a positive on the field instead of being a huge hassle that only slows me down. So stay tuned for the details. Okay, to make things easier, I decided to just demonstrate what this looks like when I'm actually using it. These are kind of the essentials you would need for a two gun loadout. First thing is of course your primary, um, this would, I would recommend a fully automatic or semi-automatic on something that's within field limits that you can use basically point blank. Um, in this case I have the Lens Tactical AK-47 here and it's a gun I just used in a recent op. I'm using a two-point sling to support this gun. This allows me to sling it hands-free with minimal movement. But when I need to use the gun, I can quickly get to it, get my arm out, then I can loosen the sling to give me more movement and toss it off my head so I can switch shoulders. If I'm running two guns, well, if I get to a place where now the maybe the purpose, something's a little out of range for my primary, I'd set it down. This is kind of the downside of running two guns. You always have to put one of them somewhere. If there's a corner, I might stand it up in the corner to keep it away from dirt and being stepped on. The nice thing is if you are laying down, you get a pretty cool third person angle. Here on the front I have the dual run cam peg box and when this gun is laying down it gets a really cool angle of view. It's kind of like having almost a, a setup camera angle. So if you're a little conscious of that you could get some cool angles too. It's sort of a benefit I discovered with running two guns. So once I get my primary out of the way and I'm ready to switch to my secondary, that's when this comes out. Now the reason I'm running the two gun setup is so I have a close up gun and I have a long range gun. So when I go to switch to this gun, as you can see, it's slung on my back. The secret to this whole thing is the backpack sling. And it's really easy to get to. So you just put, take your arm out one side, and if you go, there's your gun. Get the sling out of the way, and you're good to go. Find your target, and do whatever you're gonna do with a sniper rifle. Um, I'm using the Silverback SRS as my secondary with an 18 inch carbon fiber barrel. And that's actually one of the reasons I switched to the shorter barrel, so I can carry it on my back. This thing is so small that when it's on my back, I, I basically don't notice it. I mean, it has some weight to it, but the dimensions of it don't break the, my body. So there's nothing hanging off left, right, above me. It's all silhouetted within me. The only real issue I've ever had with this is when I go prone with this, with the primary, and I lift my head up because of my GoPro battery pack on the back of my booty, I sometimes bump it to the barrel. This, the solution to that is to twist the gun sideways across your back so then your head is somewhere in here and no longer gets in the way. To get the gun back on your back, you reverse the process. So here I'll cover quickly how the sling works. As you can see it looks like a standard two point sling, but it's two slings essentially, the same length, which then you can split into shoulder straps. You can still use it as a traditional sling, so if you're in a hurry and you need to move, you just throw it over your head and it's slung in front of you like a traditional sling would be or you know you could uh, sling it on the back as well and then get your primary of course these are less comfortable but in a pinch you could use it as a traditional sling but the main point of it is to have two straps so you take one throw it on one shoulder lift the gun back find the other strap throw it over the second shoulder and you're done now this thing's on here really well and I know you could use a traditional two-point sling to wear a gun on your back but all you're doing the whole time is holding that thing. Every time you lean it wants to slide out. If you sit down it's probably poking into the ground. If you go prone it's going to lay next to you. In this setup it's almost unnoticeable as far as a gun hanging on your back can be unnoticeable. Um, if I'm running it's not jumping around. I could climb with this. I could go prone. It's good for all sorts of things. So once I do that, uh, and I'll switch back to my primary. If I'm gonna be hiking or walking for a while, I'll tighten the strap so it's kind of tied up against my body. It's not flopping around either. And off I go. Now I'm wearing my best to show you first how kind of not bulky this whole thing is. But another reason is you wanna go with something either like a battle belt or a vest like this. You don't really want to go with something that has a backpack on the back or even a hydration pouch. It gets bulky and it's much harder to put the 
your secondary arm, in this case, the silverback. So here I'm rocking the Lancer Tactical Vest. Everything that it'll want to have access to is on the front here. The back is just a crisscross strap pattern. So when I go to sling the gun on my back, there's nothing in the way. It's real easy. I did use the two gun setup a couple of times with my JPC replica. And I, on the back of that I have a hydration pouch and I had a radio pouch. And it would get snagged on that a lot. So if you want to do the two gun thing, keep your bag clear. Don't put any pouches or backpacks on there. Sort of assume that your bag is dedicated to your secondary gun. Now that I kind of went over the operation and how I use the two gun setup, let's go over the sling because that's really the start of the show. Um, so this thing's pretty darn simple. Uh, I built it myself, but the good news is, is something like this already exists out there. I was pretty proud of myself when I came up with this. Like anything else I invent or build or DIY, I did a little bit of research and found that somebody's already thought of this. So unfortunately someone beat me to the punch. But nonetheless, let me tell you how this works. What I did is take a standard Blackhawk two-point sling that was pretty long, took all the buckles off of there, anything that came with it. So I just had the one long strap. I used the quick detach mount here and ran the sling through that, folded it over, and then put the two ends together here on the front. Now I had no real clean way to attach it here, but the hand guard did have tapped um, holes up in the front here for attaching the rails. So instead I used those holes and some bolts I found in the same thread pattern plus washers to pin the two ends of the sling down. I used two openings just to give me an extra point of contact in case one breaks, the other one will hold it enough for me to grab my gun before it goes sailing forever. And that gave me a, a double layered sling that then can be separated into two shoulder slings. Now at first I just had this thing running loose through the back here. Basically if I pulled on one side, this would get taut and the other side would turn into a big loop because there was nothing restricting it. It seemed like it would make it easier to actually sling the gun, but in reality it would turn, had the opposite effect. You would put your hand through one of the loops and it would completely tighten up on the other one. So it would kind of be hanging down and you'd have a really hard time finding this loop because it's real tight against the body of the gun now. What I did was just run a bolt between the two of them after evening them out with a couple of washers and some thread lock and distributed the length perfectly to each side. So now when I go to put my hand on one side, I still have a loop hanging there that I could then go and find with my other hand, throw it over my shoulders and put on my back. So it's a really simple thing to make. All you need is a long uh, strip of material that they use for slings or just take a sling, break it apart and build this. I'm sure you could go to a um, craft store and find this exact same material and get it in whatever color you want. Now, there are a couple companies that make this. Um, I'll see if I can find a link to something. It's a little obscure, it's not exactly popular out there. I've never really seen anyone use it. Except, of course, in video games where the guys carry, maybe they'll carry two guns, they'll have a grenade launcher, they'll have claymores all over them. Um, not very practical in there, so but with this setup, you could actually be sort of practical and have an actual advantage maybe over the enemy. You will have to lug a little more weight, you're going to sweat a little more, it'll be less comfortable, but when you get into a position where they're not reaching you, but you have this hanging on your back, you'll feel pretty good about yourself. So hopefully that makes it clear for you guys how I'm doing the two gun setup. I call it the assault sniper because I'm assaulting with my main gun and then if the opportunity presents itself, this comes off my back and I'm taking those long range shots. I'll link to a couple of gameplays that I've done using the setup. It works really well. It works better at a Nilsim event because you, it's a little slower pace and there's a lot more walking. Um, pop fields, it could work, but chances are oftentimes you'll just be running around with two guns in your hands because the enemies are rolling up on you and you don't have time to pack up and go. Check out the gameplays for yourself. Let me know if this is something you'd be interested in building yourself. So if you found this information helpful, consider giving me a like for the video, maybe subscribe to the channel, be sure to stay tuned for more, I'm always creating, I'm always printing, I'm always innovating, and there's more content coming. So thanks for watching guys, and you'll see me on the next one.